Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing a clean and decorate with me and the decorate with me portion is of me getting our new rug into the living room, sharing some tips and tricks as to how I clean my couch and keep it tidy with the kids. So stay tuned for all of the motivation and inspiration today. All right, you guys, we are doing a clean and decorate with me in today's video. And first off, I'm sharing with you how I clean my couch. I try so hard to keep the couch tidy, but with two kids and dogs and a cat, I swear it is impossible. I just cleaned this out before Thanksgiving and it is a mess again. There's like popcorn kernels and M&Ms and God knows what. And usually the kids are not allowed to have food in the living room, but somehow they're sneaking it past me because look at all this grossness in the couch. I'm all about transparency here in my channel, but this is just a little much for me. So enjoy the grossness, guys. I typically will use a vacuum to clean out my couch, but <laughs> my vacuum is also broken right now, so I used a broom to do it instead. Just all the things this week, you guys. But Anyways, my couch cushions are actually all zippered and I can remove them and machine wash them. It's incredible. My couch is from Home Furniture, if you guys are wondering, and it is like a canvassy material. It's the best couch we've ever had. It's the deepest couch ever and it's super hard to get out of. It's so comfortable, but I highly recommend it because with kids, it's so easy to keep it clean even though this is disgusting. I mean, who am I kidding? How It's easy to keep clean. It, this is a mess. This is such a mess. But anyway, after I get everything swept out, I will um, throw the couch cushion covers into the wash. And I like to use a little bit of fabric softener in there to make them smell super good. And then I will take soap and water. I just use a little bit of Dawn dish soap and some vinegar and some hot water and then I will take a textured sponge, um, something that has like maybe a little bit more of like a grit to it but not too much where it's going to pill your couch. Um, and then I will scrub the arm of the couch, the back of the couch and the sides, typically where the little toddler fingers and even my five year old is guilty of this, just peanut butter fingers or chocolate fingers, whatever it may be. There's always fingerprints all over the couch. So this is a great way to get all of the grossness off and this does not leave any water stains on my couch, on the canvas anyways. It dries nicely and I think it is because of the vinegar in there. I've also heard um, a little bit of rubbing alcohol, which okay, the vinegar sounds crazy as well. It's just like an old like hack I've been using forever on my couches. It does not stink. I only use a tablespoon and I promise with the Dawn dish soap, it cuts that smell right away. But if you're worried about the smell, you can use rubbing alcohol, like I said as well. I, this just helps to prevent any kind of water stains, etc. But that is what I'm doing here. And the cat was very interested in what I was doing and was right by my side while I was doing this. And I have to have my dogs downstairs because otherwise they're literally all like right by my side and all over me while I'm doing this. And it's impossible. It was hard enough with the cat trying to climb all over me, but... All right, you guys, I'm going to let you enjoy the before and after and the cleaning here. If you have any questions for me in regards to this, leave it in the comments down below. This is something that I typically do once every few months or so. It's been about once a month lately, just with how much we've been living in the house, like we never leave the house. So I do this more so once a month during these times. But again, let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. So we better make the most of what we've got. So take your neighbor by the hand and join the dance parade before the clock strikes and it's all too late.
on over It's the friendliest time of year Come on up, come on in Nothing better than to give the gift of cheer So come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be singing all the songs So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one, two, three Go outside, the snow is falling down And every child is having so much fun The snowman is twice the size as me With a smile as quirky as mine We're holding hands to keep each other warm While we stand and watch a choir perform And all the Christmas songs that we love Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you Making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk and we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe baby, with you Chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and joy. so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you, with you. With I don't you. need any presents As long as I spend this day Down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing 
dancing around the Christmas tree, hugging and kissing just you and me. All right, so in this portion of the video, I am laying on my rug, which like that is the extent of the decorate with me. I just like didn't know what to call it. I wasn't gonna say clean with me and lay my rug down because that sounds weird. So the decorate with me part of the video is me putting my rug down. And I get all of my rugs from Rugs USA. This is not a sponsored video. I absolutely love Rugs USA. I have been getting all my rugs from there since we moved into the house three years ago. My favorite part of rugs is that once they get gross, you can replace them. Now my rug that I had here before, for the last three years, had been beaten and destroyed and had dog accidents and kid spills, and it was amazing. It wasn't until one of the dogs decided to chew one of the areas completely bald, and these rugs do shed over time, the wool rugs do shed over time. So it was just like balding. It was balding in spots from the dogs. It was balding in spots because it was shedding. So it was just time for a new rug, okay? That one had seen her better days. So I ordered this one off of Rugs USA. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. And I believe I got a seven by like 9.6 foot. And I think it was around $278. It was on sale for Black Friday. And it is a wool rug. The quality is amazing. And I always lay a rug pad underneath like the main part of the living area. Um, I wanted to do for the whole living area. But anyways, that's why the rug pad's like a little bit goofy. But highly recommend this, especially for your like areas where the kids like to play because this just makes such a world of a difference. I didn't use to do rug pads and then now that I have one I'll never go back because it's just so much more comfy. So anyways, again I'll have the rug linked down below for you and I know that this footage is a little bit um, deceiving or what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. The color of this rug is a creamy white. Um, it's like a thick wool creamy right white. It's super pretty, um, but it is not gray. It's actually a brown, um, which I was kind of surprised to see. I was pleasantly surprised. I knew that the triangles on the side were brown, but I thought that the like area in the middle was more of a gray. It's definitely, definitely brown. So anyways, I just wanted to add that little tidbit. If you guys are wanting to get this rug, it is white and brown.
All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this clean and decorate with me. Like I said earlier, quote unquote decorate because I just put down a rug, but I didn't know what else to call it. I'm loving our new rug. Obviously Riker's loving it too. I love these clips in here of him dancing because it was so dang cute. He is just an absolute tornado busybody these days. He never stops moving. Seeing him in like the faster speed, it gives me anxiety because he's already so busy. But anyways, you guys, I hope you got all of the inspiration and motivation from today's video. And I will see you in a couple of days for a day in the life. Okay, bye you guys. This year I'll think about how I'm so lucky to have a place that I can come.